what's up guys energize activate windows here and today we are oh i missed out on the fist bump and today we are playing as vain in the bot lane or a new build because a lot of people have been saying that it's just the lethality ad carries that have been reaping the rewards of season 14 um which kind of true misfortune Jin uh draven doing really well lucian doing really well samira's doing great but vain amongst a couple other ad carries like lucian uh, have also been doing very well and they have been doing very well with these really weird energizer builds now what i'm assuming is gonna happen here is that these two I'm gonna have to deal with a Velkaz poke, which usually isn't too too bad. I think Velkaz actually got some some sick buffs somewhat recently that made it so his what is it? His E. There we go. Ah, damn! I thought I could get a pretty decent trade back there if I went for that last auto attack. But I got hit by the Velkaz Q. I still got a good amount of damage off on them. But if I didn't get hit by the Velkaz Q, that would have been so much better. So, 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 so much better. But, um... I... <sighs> I think we'll be fine. But the build we'll be going for to this game is the Energizer build. I'll be going for a Q Max Vein build with a Storm Razor, the Voltaic Cyclo Sword, the Rapid Fire Cannon, most likely. And then probably going crit after that. Um I think it's I think it's gonna be pretty good. Cause originally the build wasn't entirely fleshed out. So we didn't have everything in mind but then I fleshed it out and I was thinking it's gonna be pretty good well, I'll probably have to go kind of kind of tanky this game to be honest because <laughs> they have a Rengar and a LeBlanc so I'm gonna be not a happy camper I want to get this last auto off. Also, I can just go for this Velkaz no problem right now. Easy. Easy double kill right there. So, I don't know why they didn't use anything. But right there, I just used the Condemn to proc my Silver Bolts on the Kaisa. Um, because she was about to get away. Don't even need to use any summoners on my end for that. I don't know if they even used any of theirs. Did they? Did they just, like, not think that was going to happen the way it did? <laughs> like, is that all that happened there? Or were they just like, nah, they won't. Am I, like, am I the one that's tripping? Did I miss it? Because... I could be. But regardless, Berserker Greaves to run him down faster. Long sword, shoot him down harder. A little bit of sippy juice to be the Kool-Aid man. This is a aggressive Diana E. Well, that was that was That was aggressive. <laughs> I like the ambition. <laughs> I like the ambition behind the attack. Bleah. I need a ward in that bush, but I don't have one myself. Boom. Good damage. Really, really good damage. But we don't want to keep trading here because there's such a fat minion wave. I just wanted to get that little silver bolts chunk off. 
And then keep in mind, uh, one thing to really remember with this build is that I am not going to be this weird gradual damage over time vein that so many people are used to, or so many people are used to fighting with Blade of the Rune King. I am going to deal a tremendous amount of upfront damage. And I mean tremendous. So let's just see here. I fucking missed my auto attack. I went to auto attacker and I actually just used my condemn instead. And I did not mean to do that. I meant to auto attacker. And because of that, she lives. Belkaz won't live. He dies here in just a second. So I'll just <laughs> run up and get that. That's embarrassing. But that's okay. That's a okay. And it looks like. Oh no. Oh no. It looks like my absolute two worst nightmares are getting fed. So this will be. Uh, interesting to say the least. So, also to answer people that are asking, Sundered Sky would not be very good on Vayne, no. I don't think Sundered Sky is very good for ranged champions in general because the damage of it just gets reduced so much. Um, and you really just don't get a whole lot out of the item as range. Like, you can try and make arguments that it would be okay here, there, wherever. Like, all this, that, the other thing. But... I just don't think that Sundered Sky has much of a place on this build, especially when you compare it to the value of what you get otherwise. Because when it comes to itemization, there's one thing that people seem to really, really forget uh, for some reason. Also, we can just kind of like go in on this if they stay up here. There goes their heal, there goes their ghost, there goes everything. And remember, my ultimate is a much shorter cooldown than their stuff. Oh. Pew, pew, pew. Not this time, bitch! Condemn is gonna get you. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little loud. I was just a little sad that the Condemn didn't get her last time. And I'm not even bothering trying to condemn people into walls right now. Because I don't want to take the time to sit here and, like, go out of my way to try and maneuver myself for these stun plays that I don't need to be making right because so many people try and be like oh my god i have to make the montage play as vain i have to get this awesome stun against the tower wall or snag them on this that or the other thing when no i can just run them down <laughs> i can just run them down and shoot them i'm really strong i don't need to be out playing right now uh oh no oh jeez. Oh, no, it's a four kill Rengar. Okay. Oh, boy. That health from the Sundered Sky looking real nice now, isn't it? <laughs> so this guy's just dead again. Damn it. At that time, Last I actually did try and gear with the stun. But, uh, I was trying to see if she would use her ultimate, um, a little earlier. Because I wanted her to try and use her ultimate, and then I go for the condemn. But I guess I should have just gone and pulled the trigger on it immediately. So, maybe my mistake there. I don't know. 
but regardless i'm just gonna recall again get my storm razor because this is another huge recall i get the 45 percent bonus movement speed on my energized hit now and that is what we like is fleet footwork a good rune for the quick in and out uh no i really don't think you need it at all you could argue maybe that you want it for some sustain or something but press the attack is simply too good on vein like it's just way 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 too good on vein and as soon as you have your storm razor there's your in and out anyways right you get your movement speed bonus just from building the item so let's see I think I actually had the damage to commit to that a lot harder and kill her, but I don't think it would be worth it. Now, in this game, I think I'm just going to have to go for my energized core and then go. Let's see. Once you, what you gonna do, kitty? What you gonna do, kitty? You gonna die? Okay, never mind. That Rengar is um, not a fraction as frightening as I thought he was. I'll be honest. So maybe I can get by with just doing one thing. Oh, check this out, by the way. Boom. 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 <laughs> Auto spacing at its finest. It looks like they just want to dive the Velkaz here. So as long as someone else tanks it. I guess I'll just walk up and get the kill. I mean, if you insist. Uh, I don't think I want to take this turret yet, though. Now, I do need to be wary of the Rengar running straight back bottom right now. And no, I don't. He was on the grubs. Is she not coming back to defend this? Okay. Girl, you ain't as strong as you think you is. Oh, I don't know about this one. Okay. He did way less damage than I thought. But I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> So let's see. What's that other thing that I need? Storm Razor and Voltaic Cyclosword. So there is my entire core build already complete. In this game, though, we've got two issues. We've got a putty tat, and we've got a deceptive bitch. And that, well... They're probably looking at me like I'm a problem, but I'm looking at them like they're a problem because they are a problem. And if I walk into any unknown territory and run into them, that could be, see, see, this is, this is exactly what I was saying. This is exactly what I was saying. What are you doing though? What are you doing? What are you thinking? You see exactly why I didn't go in this bush now? You see exactly why I did not go in that bush now, don't you? Go for it, baby. No! That Velkaz knockup was so clutch! Oh. He got me good. He got me good. Ah, 
damn. So what do I want to do instead? I could go? Hmm. Actually? Nice dick, partner. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an awesome, awesome idea. go <laughs> y'all are gonna have to wait to see how awesome my idea is but i just thought of it and it's so awesome so oh oh this is gonna be so good oh my god I chunk turrets. That's crazy. And I'll still be able to go actually for a relatively like really offensive build with this too. Oh, I love this. Okay. So should I keep? I'm gonna keep splitting. Do you think I can get their attention on me? I don't have my barrier outplay button. I don't think the Aatrox can kill me unless I really mess up. Aatrox isn't even here anyways. So I really need to actually just be trying to get something over here. I'm gonna flash away. Did not expect that last Q auto to kill him, I'll be honest. So I didn't need to flash away there. Um Okay, that went a little differently than I thought. That went slightly differently than I thought it would. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I tried to uh get into a position to condemn him into the wall and i thought about it and i was like oh wait shit he's gonna try and go into the bush and kill me right but then i was like wait a minute i can just condemn him away and shoot him again and what's where's that item called that i was thinking about i can go guardian angel meh maybe probably a good idea uh but for now i'm going to go for maw so this will help me deal with the LeBlanc, help me deal with the um, Velkaz damage, help me deal with a little bit of the Kaisa damage. And then we'll still have what my secret tech is later. Because keep in mind, I don't need, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my team doesn't even need me. What am I talking about? Ooh. That's some chunky damage. Also, I'm really not too worried about the Rengar getting to a point where he'll one-shot me. Because I will certainly be doing... plenty of damage to fight him and be tanky enough to fight him. So don't you worry. In the future, I'll be tanky enough to fight him, not the entire enemy team. I do get my maw here. <clears throat> Shut down. So we'll be good. But I'm not too worried about this guy. So with Ma in hand, I kind of want to get Experimental Hex Plate. Because I actually think this is going to be a really legit item for me. 
I think this is gonna be a really, really, really legitimately good item for me. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to get probably It's definitely going to be a tanky item. It's definitely going to be a tanky item. I'll 100% need some sort of tank item. I'm assuming it'll be Randuin's. But I think Experimental Hexplate is going to be huge for me. Having more access to my ultimate in this game is going to be just what the doctor ordered. Also, this guy's just dead, right? Because I stun him into the wall and I just get the kill. And there's the uh, Maw coming in big for LeBlanc just not being able to kill me. And guys, everyone telling me to grab Sundered Sky? No. <laughs> Sundered Sky is not going to be good for me this game. It's a good item in general for a lot of champions. It will not be very good for me this game. I need other things way too much. I need so many other, other stats way too much. Wait, my activate windows is actually blocking my own minimap. Okay. Okay. I almost have that. So let's see if I can farm the jungle a little bit. But after experimental hex plate, my goal is going to be to. <laughs> Dude, this is so deceptive. Now I have a freaking. <laughs> now I have a freaking little. It says the hex drinks always up, or the uh, chem drink is always up. That's so funny. Am I going for a one hit vein? Nah. Just a, in just like an energizer vein. So let's see if I can Aw oh, damn I didn't do it sneaky enough. I did it barely too late. I'm not gonna go for this. I actually really shouldn't be trying to go for anything anyways, because I'm so close to getting my hex plate that I shouldn't be trying to make any plays. Um, I should just be trying to get my hex plate. And now that I don't have my ultimate, I definitely shouldn't be looking to fight. Unless I can just do a front to back thing. But I do have barrier. I do have some stats. There goes Velkov's ultimate. A lot of damage, but... I mean, if they don't go for anything off of it, doesn't matter, right? And they're using Aatrox's TP to go bottom to stop Diana. And without Velikov's ultimate. I'm not going to try and go kill her. We should probably just Baron off of that. I do think we should just Baron off of that. Because with our team, we should do Baron very quick. Did the Baron just yoink me in? Is that one of this Baron's moves? I don't know all the new Baron's moves yet. All right. Jogath kept him busy. And we get the job done. Yeah, I'm, uh, gotta say, not feeling really particularly threatened by that Rengar right now. So, just to make sure that we don't ever feel particularly threatened by that Rengar, I'm still going to get a Randuin's as my last item. But what Experimental Hexplate's going to do for me is, look at this, my ultimate's now down 
to a lower than one minute cooldown. But when I activate it, I also get a bunch of movement speed and 35% attack speed for eight seconds. So that makes me able to play around my ultimate just that much more, right? It's so annoying that I actually have to like actively check my <laughs> tab menu to see when the dragon comes up. Thanks, activate windows. Ow, bow, bow. You know, I know I really didn't need to do her like that, but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I did, you know, theoretically. How much damage is this done? I think I did see someone lurking off to the side there. Do I get to try and like super play this? Oh no, sorry. My activate windows literally was not letting me see that my own team was here. <laughs> God damn it. I need to get this fixed ASAP. I smell bogeys in the mist. Oh, that's just my friends. <laughs> Just gonna go work on this. Oh, wait. Ooh. My ultimate is now a 48 second cooldown. Yeah, I could probably like three shot this Rengar right now. Hit. Why does everyone have fucking Zonyas? No, I didn't expect him to flash on me. I had barrier. damage I was able to take man 4322 damage Woo. that's crazy but now I've got my randuins complete I've got my damaging items complete and also keep in mind that despite being very tanky with two two tanky items I still only have one tank item in the sense of Randuin's, right? And this one is for the fact that one, Sundered Sky counts as a crit, and two, so does Rengar's ult or auto attack out of his ultimate. So both of those things will deal 30% less damage to me because of Randuin's effect of critical strikes deal 30% less damage to you. So that is why I chose Randuin's over any other tank item. And that is also why I am not frightened by them at all. If I see them, I will square up, especially now that I know that they don't have anything. I'm squaring up. Get off me! Get off me! What do you think you're trying to hit, Aatrox? Where's your flash this time? You little stupid floppy... I don't even know what you're called. Yeah, that's what we call an intelligent surrender, milady. <laughs> DG, well played. Activate Windows. Thank you for letting me know the Chemtech Drake is still up. Yo, what are, what are those things called? What is Ross? What is Aatrox? Darkens. The Darkens. The floppy Darken. <laughs> I was trying to call him a floppy Darken, and I couldn't think of what he was called. 
but man. Yo, that build slaps harder than that one time I was 12 years old and I called my mama a bitch. Holy shit. Still 51,000 damage in 30 minutes. And we gotta see, hold on, how much damage did I take? Total damage taken, not bad. Total damage mitigated, not bad. Total damage, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. But I like this build. I actually really like this build, dude. Like, this core of these two items you saw the damage, right? On anybody I shot. It didn't matter who I was shooting. The core of this was doing so much damage with the energized attacks from Voltaic and from Stormraiser. And the other thing to remember is that Voltaic makes your energized stack faster whenever you are dashing. So, Vayne dashing all the time with her tumble her q is constantly 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 getting so much more uh of these energized procs and experimental hex plate that felt incredible uh ma obviously that stopped the leblanc from being able to do anything to me <laughs> randuins it's just too strong <laughs> this build was Mwah. Chef's kiss. Perfection. Hey, oh, you guys want to see my true damage? Uh, there you go. I did 6,300 true damage. My magic damage was 5,500. Physical damage was 40k. But, try this build out for yourself if you don't believe me on how OP it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Here are the runes that I used. I'm probably going to find out a way to start putting these runes like in the start of the video or something just so it's easier so you guys can see them um but they're always in the description they're always in the description but all that said thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day peace